Raheem Sterling stunned Spain as England run out 3-2 winners in Sevilla. Yes, Raheem Sterling scores his first international goal in three years for England as they beat Spain 3-2 out, out in Sevilla. What a victory it was for England. And even though it was a nervous ending towards the game, England first half were absolutely brilliant and they got the scoring off with Raheem Sterling. A great ball put through to him by Rashford, um, splitting open that defence. And Raheem Sterling, one-on-one -on -one with De Gea, makes no doubt about it. Rifles the ball into the back of the net. 1-0 England. And Sterling celebrates like a man who hasn't scored since October the 15th for his country. Um, and obviously delighted with that goal. Um, and then not long afterwards, uh, Rashford's put through. And he finishes a, a good finish for someone who missed a good couple of chances against Croatia. Some might even say easier chances against Croatia. But he put England 2-0 straight afterwards. And all of a sudden, England fans, uh, not sure what to make of it. They're, Sevilla's gone quiet. The stadium's sort of dropped in, 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 in their voices. And the England fans are the only ones you can hear singing out there in Spain. Um, and then, if that to make matters worse, all of a sudden it's 3-0. A great ball put over the top from Ross Barkley into Harry Kane, who brilliantly cuts it back. Um, maybe... Harry Kane should have cut that back in a, against Croatia in the semi-finals and England might be a, a World Cup finalist. But he did what he didn't do out there in Croatia. He cut it back for Raheem Sterling, who taps it into the back of the net to celebrate a double. He doubles his international goal-scoring record now because it's now four goals for him internationally um, to put England 3-0 up all before half-time. And England going into half-time thinking, what's just happened? We've gone to Spain and we've absolutely destroyed them first half. Um, and obviously all the fans delighted with that. But of course we knew an onslaught was going to come back because Spain are Spain, you know, world champions not too long ago. Uh, people like Sergio Ramos in that dressing room, they weren't going to let England get away with this easily. And they came back. Alcazar literally came just off the bench. Um, he's been in a hot form, one of the best strikers in Europe. If you're looking by form, Paco Alcazar. Um, and he headed a ball, free header really from a corner kick. Um that Spain had in the 57th minute, he rose up high, headed it above Pickford, a brilliant header actually, um, and that brought Spain back to 3-1, and all of a sudden England rocking a bit, and a little bit of sloppy football from England, and especially from Jordan Pickford, um, It was I don't know what he was doing, Gomez passed the ball back to him, and he sort of tried to Cruyff turn Asensio, and I mean, what are you doing in that position? You had Gomez to go back to, you had Chiwo on the left-hand side, you could just get it outfield, but no, you decide to do a Cruyffton in your box, you get it wrong, Asensio touches the ball past him, looks like he's about to put Spain 3-2 up, Pickford grabs Asensio back, referee doesn't give a foul, because Pickford kind of recovers that by making a good sliding challenge, if you look at it, gets the ball with his left foot out for a corner kick, and the referee didn't see the pullback clearly from Pickford. Because if he did, it's a definite penalty for Spain, which I think it should have been. And a potential red card because uh, Pickford obviously not gone for the ball at the time that he was pulling back Asensio. And um, he would have gone. England would have been down to 10 men. Um, and a new goalkeeper would have had to come in probably in the likes of Jack Butland. And England would definitely have been hanging on them. Wasn't to be. Spain got a corner kick and they did press England towards the end of that last sort of 20 minutes. England went five at the back. Carl Walker came on and England went to five at the back. And you could tell they were literally trying to just park the bus for the last sort of 10, 20 minutes of that game. Uh, Raheem Sterling and Rashford were brilliant as well in that second half. Anytime the ball sort of broke, them two were, were the ones on the pace on the, on the wings, taking the hits from the sides, getting a couple of um, challenges in from their fullbacks with Spain and just getting England up the field. Um, but Spain did pull a goal back again um, late on. Uh, who else is it going to be? Sergio Ramos came up from the back. A uh, good cross in after a few good chances. And he headed Spain, um, uh, well, headed Spain a goal back to make it 3-2. And it was, a, it, was a, it was a good header from, from Ramos as well. Something that we're, we're used to seeing from him from time to time. Um, and it wasn't enough, unfortunately, for Spain. Alonso hit the bar just before that as well. And they had a couple of chances um, from Alcazar. 
Um, and a deflected effort from Morata as well, which could have gone anywhere. But England held on. They got the victory. Raheem Sterling, the hero today. Uh, and that obviously leaves in England second in UEFA Nations League group. Remember, this is a UEFA Nations League game. Uh, it's not a friendly, it's a competitive game. Spain still topped the group with seven points. But if England beat Croatia in their final game at home and Spain fail to get anything from their game against Croatia then England will qualify as group winners of that group. Um, and, but at the same time, if England do lose to Croatia, they will be relegated. Of course, this is a, 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 t a game which could... This is a league which you can get relegated from. So if England don't beat Croatia, they will be relegated from the UEFA Nations League. But all to play for. Spain not through as they might have thought they would have been today. And the UEFA Nations League goes on. Raheem Sterling... The star of the show. Let's hope the media get behind him this time.